I mean, we don't like to talk about Kickstarters too, too often anymore. Well, we do every once in a while. Nah, we still talk about them pretty frequently. Oh, okay, well, we have it in about a month at least. Uh, Let's talk. I don't. I don't know how to frame this one. <laughs> okay. I don't want to seem like we're, this is low hanging fruit at all. Is it low hanging? Is there such thing as low hanging? Uh, this is low hanging fruit, but the Oton X, the first artificial intelligent game. <laughs> the Oton X, the first artificial intelligent game console. Uh, in the video, they go on to call it an autonomous video game console. Autonomous, meaning it, it thinks for itself and acts by itself? Yes. Um, in the okay. video, they uh, initially start off by showing it, um, you know, doing uh, 3D racing games, some platforming games, some action-adventure games. Then they go on to tell you that the Oton X... <clears throat> the Oton X... <laughs> uh, will make its own games for you. Uh... And that if you want to dip your toes into making games, you can do so uh, with no coding knowledge. And you can do it with just a few clicks on some menus. So then later on, um, it tells you that uh, right now the Oton X only does um, 2D games. So what the Oton X does is... Well, so Belka, what the hell is this thing? So you turn it on. It's a Linux computer. Right in an off-the-shelf shell, which looks like almost like an old uh, freaking cable modem I used to have 15 years ago. It, st it starts yeah. at only three hundred dollars. Sure. Now you turn it on, and it gives you a menu, and uh, it gives you, it starts populating the screen with icons, and uh, these are the games that the Oton X autonomously yeah. creates. There, I think there's like okay, there's supposed to be like eight games, like a fighting game. There's pictures of. There's a 2D no, game. No, but it, it, it doesn't actually do that. If you watch the video okay. all the way through, it only does one type of game. It does the 2D platform. Two, what was it Kid Destiny or whatever it is? I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know <laughs> that you name them whatever you want to name them. Name them. But it only does one type of game. It's a 2D <laughs> game. Okay. Okay. So, uh, basically, it changes the goals and it changes some of the sprites. It changes the amount of enemies that populate the screen. Uh, and this is what's known as autonomous game design. <laughs> and creating its own games. So in some games, like, the goal will be to collect, like, 15 coins. It's vague about this, so if I'm wrong about any of this, you know, let us know in the comments section. <laughs> or defeat a number of enemies or reach a goal. Um, and they make it sound like it's a uh, never-ending gameplay and it's the greatest thing ever. Uh, it is Kid Destiny, by the way. That's okay. That's platform. I, I don't really know. I, I mean, I just don't have a whole lot more to say about this other than... Okay. I mean, it, it, it says that it's they're working on it being able to create all sorts of games, but really what this is, is it's giving you a base game and then randomly generating goals, types of enemies, amounts of enemies, and yeah. difficulty levels. And it starts at $300. Let's talk real quick about the comparison chart between this and traditional consoles, which I thought was pretty funny. Oh, I don't. I don't think I actually got to see that. So. Oh, you didn't? No, I did. I, I was looking. Okay. I was looking. Compare for... Oton to traditional consoles at two seventy nine versus two ninety nine, and all of these, all of these, the uh, Oton has, but traditional consoles do not. Ian, free unlimited games. Check. Instant new games. Check. Oh. Privacy. Check. New games daily. Check. Resell Oton games. Resell them. What? How do you resell an Oton game? I, I guess you can create your own games, which are really just randomized levels, and sell them to other parties. Autonomous like. system. Check. Use your created game options. You can, Yeah, yeah, because you can't find that in any other games on traditional consoles. There's no game options at all. Unlimited storage! Unlimited storage, I guess, to a cloud? And <laughs> social game sharing, because, you, cause, you know, you can't share your experiences on traditional consoles. All right. So yeah, there are like eight games on the menu here. There's a shooter, there's a Kid Destiny, which is the only one they actually show off that actually exists. A game called Fight, which is a fighting game. There's a first person shooter, which I think show they showed off briefly. Uh, it looks like a car game, like poker. A racing game, which is just a picture of an of an like an like an indie car, and another one I can't make out. So there's also a autonomous level creation. Video? Did you see that with the gentleman sitting down in front of the Linux base PC? Yeah. Uh, yes. So this video is about a minute long, and the Oton logo comes up on the LCD TV, and then at that point, it's a strange video of him clicking boxes. 
on the screen and not actually running the game, which I guess shows, like, I want this option in the game. I want, I don't know, this sort of level, or this is the point goal. And I... It's almost... It's not quite the point of if the Onion... Or, you know, like, wanted to do a parody of a video game console Kickstarter, it would be this. But it's it's right at the doorstep for that. Uh, for this. Are you, are you just silent because you're trying to figure out what this is? I'm trying to find the part where it says it only does the 2D. Okay. Because that's all they show in the actual... Um, it, when you're looking at actual gameplay... Oh, and it says screen images simulated. So, like, it doesn't actually show any, like, real oh, gameplay. I was going to say, so this isn't, really, there actually isn't a usable prototype. There is a video of them opening up the the shell and looking at it, which is more you can say about other Kickstarters. Yeah. <laughs> which is good. I mean, yeah, there's, yeah. there's more here than other Kickstarters. They show the inside of the shell showing, showing a real PC board, I don't think a DVR capture no. uh, device. So the goal is at, it's actually less than I thought, it's only at 25000 Will it reach it? No. Probably not. Uh, so, I, like I said, I don't want... It's, it's low-hanging fruit, but you have to have something better than what looks to be, I don't know, like an app-level 2D platformer on display as, as your game. You really? Know? I mean, that's... Somewhere in that video, they talk about how the 2D game is really all that's running right now. Right now. And well, I'm sure because they only have screenshots of like a fighting game. It's an art of two people looking at each other. There's, there's nothing there. And yeah. well, what I'm seeing, and I saw, part, I saw, I did see footage of some first person shooter real quick. So did I, but I don't think that, I think that's sizzle real stuff. That's not actually running yet. I think all that they have running is the platformer stuff. And like I said, basically what they have is a random level generator. Sure. And that's not going to fly at three hundred dollars, you can't. And, and I mean, the thing is that th it's two seventy nine. They have six thousand two hundred forty two dollars at twenty five backers, but they had twenty five backers when I checked this the other day. Who knows if that's family, friends? Well, do you want to look at some of the comments? I mean, uh, I followed the Oton X for a long time. I, okay, I'm happy to see it on Kickstarter now. Can't wait to try the console. Good luck. I'm excited about this system. I like the fact that I'll always have new games on my system when I turn it on. I really want these guys to reach their goal. I've been a fan of this system for a while. Has this been on E3? We have not known about it? I haven't heard about this console before. Did, did I miss the Old Time X booth a few years back at E3? I've been a fan of this system for a while. I, I, I like that I'll never have to buy games for this Oton system. That's a big plus for me. All right. So we have a few people that may or may not be shills for it that I'm really looking forward to Oton I've been friends with Derek since he came up with this idea and have supported him the best I can I want to support an independent game company to change the face of gaming really looking forward to having Oton on my television I don't want to poo-poo people's dreams I really don't I feel I'm feeling nasty talking about this because this 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 isn't a this isn't a fucking two million dollar cash grab like other kickstarters were no it's not it's it's, it's, it's a reasonable goal and I just the video they need to tone down the hyperbole yes this is going to be your another ouya sort of no. thing no not even okay it's going to be something playing a, a handful of games that were developed by this individual that will have a, a, a level randomizer which is cool. That's that's neat, but I just don't know about you, that. You don't, price need a, point. you don't need a console to do that. Right. You, just, you need software to do that. You don't need a console specialized to do that. Exactly. Come out with the software and try to sell it separately. There's the advice for me. Well, and then a positive note: develop the games. Don't worry about the hardware. Just do the software, and maybe that'll get you somewhere on Steam in the future, or something. And and that's the best I can. Yeah, say. you don't need hardware for it. All right. Not we're not totally destroying your, your hopes and dreams. 